Welcome back to No Man's Sky. So, in the last episode, we just finished off with this planet. I believe we found all the... What do they call them? Uh, monuments, in order to learn as much of the Corvax language as we possibly can. So now, we think we're going to head off into space. So, let's go. Uh, pulse engine offline. It was shift, wasn't it? Wow, flying up into a pink atmosphere. Whoa, that's a lot of rocks. Are we in space yet? Okay, turn them off. Oh, we are in the space. Oh, holy hell. What the heck? How did we get into space so quickly? I thought that normally there mustn't be much atmosphere on that planet. Ah, okay. So where do we have to go now? There's a lot of planets around us. What's that? It's a space station. Okay, so I think we have to go to the space base station now? We'll have a look at the map. So, Riguskia Nudho region. Analysis class G 6F, six planets, discovered by me. Oh wow, what the heck is going on? Why is it jumping around like this? Uh, the heck? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, why it? Oh, ah, free exploration, exploration mode. Okay, I'm kind of a little bit confused about how we know where to go. Whoop. Oh, the heckles. Are we I think we're still, yeah, we're still in the same galaxy. Okay, I'm gonna head over towards this, woo! Still hard to control your spaceship in here. So we'll head over to this space station, I think. Okay. So, engage pulse jump. Still gonna take a frickin' while to get there. Holy heck. Are we able to get there any quicker? If you know if you guys know how to control that bloomin' <laughs> space map, just leave it down in the comment section below, because I still haven't figured that out as of yet. Do I have Space? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, slow down! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I thought I was for sure gonna run into that. Okay, here we go. That is a really weird looking space station. Oh, we're lagging. Okay, in we go, arriving at the space station. In five, four, three, two, one! Hey, we're here! Oh, okay, it takes over for me. Good. <laughs> Otherwise, I was gonna say, holy heck, I'm gonna end up being annihilated by not being able to control my spaceship in here. 
Okay, so we've got two doors to look at. We'll go have a look at both of them. Go over to this one first, see what's over here. And what's behind door number one? Uh, nothing. I need an atlas pass. What is those atlas passes? Like, I... I searched that whole planet, I didn't see anything relating to an atlas pass. So I'm assuming you have to discover the technology before you can craft them? That's what I'm assuming. Oh, hello. Uh, okay. I'll sell some of my... crap. <laughs> uh, definitely the Corvax casing. And the gold is pretty good to sell as well. 252? Yeah, I'm gonna sell all my gold. Plutonium's not all that great to sell. Sell my Genpin. What else do I have in my ship that could be worth selling? Iron, nickel, vanium 9, more plutonium. Have a little bit more gold, so I'll sell that. Um. Not sure. 55 units each. Oh, emeralds. Worth a bit of money too. 275 units each. 61, 20, 27. I'm going to sell my emerald as well. Because I don't know any use for that at the moment. I have a crap load of plutonium. I think that's all I've got there at the moment. Nickel's worth a little penny. 137. I might just keep my nickel though. Because I don't know what I might need that for. I think I saw a few things that nickel were was good for. I don't really want to sell the plutonium. No, I'll keep that because I need to be able to charge up my ship with it. Okay. What can we, what are they offering here? Uh, yeah, not a lot. Okay. <laughs> Let's go over and have a chat to Scholar Entity New. The Corvax are a really weird race. Thesis. Aras, Corvax, Keves, please, please. I startle the electronic life form from its work. It greets me politely, but when it sees my bolt caster, it starts to vibrate with fear. The entity's voice quavers, and its mask slowly turns to a single dilated red light. It clearly wants to get back to its research work, but it's too terrified to take its gaze away from me. The more I try to calm it, the more the poor thing convulses with fear. <laughs> Suddenly swatch and reboots with that of another. Oh no! I... I didn't mean to do that, sorry. No, no, I've come in peace. Ah, Sorry. Damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. Is that? Oh, carbon. That's not, that's really not what I wanted to do. Another journey milestone, space trucker. You need a lot of these atlas passes.
Okay, so... What do I have to do now? I'll just upload that one. I don't really... Can't really be bothered giving them names. But as you can see, I discovered basically all the waypoints on that um, starter planet. So that's pretty good. We fully discovered everything on that planet. Mostly. We missed out a few of... Two of the... Um, two of the animals we didn't find, but... That's not too bad. So, that's the journey that we're on. Controls. Nope, I don't want to change any of that. Oh, let's talk to you. What are you? Interface Entity Mini. Traveler. Something to do with us. Oh, we want a lot for that. What is he um, selling, though? We'll see what he's selling. So I think they sell different things when you meet different ones. Uh, he is. Why do I need... What's that? Oh... Holy crap. He's selling it for a pretty penny. Lemme... Lemium. Holy shoot, some of this stuff is expensive. Okay. <laughs> nope, I don't need any of your stuff. So, we'll jump back into our ship and see where we need to head off next. Whoa! Almost went crashing into them. Why? We don't need to go back to the space station, do we? been to that space station though. Oops. Okay, that's what's happening with that. I move one way and it shows me where to go. No, I wasn't meaning to go over there. Okay. Oh, oh no. Uh, I wanted to uh, exit map. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, shivers. What was that? Whoa! Gone into a spin. Why does it still want me to go there? Nope. Stop. No, why am I heading back in? Oh, Jesus. No! <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, when I get out of here, I think we'll turn back around and just head out to that planet below us and see what's going on down there. What can we make? Suspension fluid, a warp cell, 
charge starships hyperdrive to enable FTL warp speeds. Okay, so you need Thanium 9 and antimatter. Craft products in your inventory. Okay. Well, I think I'd better go looking for some more. Woo! Undiscovered. Let's go have a look at Q Kukel at Ayum. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh, I. First of all, I want to shoot out some of these space rocks to get some more Thanium 9. Come here, space rocks. Yeah, this is the best way to get Thanium 9. Whoa, that's a big rock. Over there. Oh no, it's overheating. Oh, Iridium! That's giving us. Oh! So some of these rocks give you different things as well. That is very cool. Holy heck. Okay. Collecting Iridium off of that. I just want to grab more Thamian 9 before we head off. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we should all be good for Thamian 9 for now. Yeah. Let's head on down. Wow! Hopefully we slow... Yeah, I was going to say, hopefully we slow down before we... Woo! Okay. Come on. It looks like there's a lot of water on this planet, maybe? If we can call that brown stuff water. Yeah, yeah, I think that's water. Yeah. Oh, we're getting laggy. Why am I still coming through the atmosphere? I've almost bloody... landed on top of this thing. Oh, okay. Oh, what's that over there? Whoo wee! We found a um base, by the looks of it. I'm kind of praying: do not land in the water. Do not land in the water. <laughs> oh, so this is a pretty cold planet. Weather, temperate, sentinels, passive, flora, empty, fauna, few. It's a very, fairly desolate planet too. Well, the looks of it. Okay, let's make... Some bypass chips. Where are we? Here we are. Let's transfer that over to there. We don't need that at the moment. And create one, two, three, four. Okay. So, what do we have here on this planet? We have some monoliths. Yep. We'll try to monolith twice and see whether it shows us two different ones or whether it just shows us the same one. 
So there's one over that way. Oh, look at that. There's like a hole through the mountain. That's pretty cool. We'll see if it shows us another one. Or whether it shows us the exact same one. No, nope, it's going to show us a different one. Awesome. Okay, we'll see if those two stay on my map. So we have that one over there. And that one over there. Awesome. Okay, they do stay on my map. Whoop. Oh, okay. No, model was detected. Okay. We'll see if it'll show me a third one. Because I think there's only two on the other planet. So there's that one over there. And there's one behind us. There is a third one. Oh my god. Okay, well maybe I didn't find them all on the other planet. So now there's one, two, three. Holy heck. Will there be a fourth? There wouldn't be a fourth, would there? There is. Are you... One, two... Now there is! There's four! Oh my word. Um... I'm gonna create a few more of these. Okay, so we've got four monoliths. There won't be a fifth. If there is, this planet is crazy big. No, I think that's the same one. Or maybe that's a different one. Oh my god. Oh, what the hell is that? Hello? A Memembisum Hytron. Perpetual age, intermediate gender, temperament shy, diet oxide element. It bloody flies! That is freaking weird. Can I scan those? I have difficulty scanning these ones for some reason. Come here, come a bit closer. Whoop. Can I scan you now? No. Okay, they don't seem to like to scan the flying ones. For some reason. Okay. Let's just quickly have a look around here. And then we'll start getting ready to head off to those monoliths. I seriously don't know how many monoliths can be on a planet now. Okay. No technology. Just some first aid. Come on, go, go, run a bit quicker. Um where is the entrance to this place? Come on. Where is the blooming entrance? Here we go. 
Oh, there's a guy here. Hello, I come in peace. Mr. Research Entity Tolugak. Maybe he's going to want me to leave him alone too. Corvax, something, something. Rescue level. He's agitated and perhaps in pain. Its body buzzes and small arcs of electricity jump between its mask and shoulders. It jolts and shakes. It needs help. It reaches out its hand as if it wants to shake mine. I instinctively raise my arm in response, but common sense advises caution. Shake hand one health. It reaches out its hand. Oh god. Um Okay. The pain is intense. It thanks me with a gift. Oh, what the heck? Aquatic respiration aid. Oh my god, awesome. Provides an increased ability to swim underwater for extended periods. Can be used alongside other aeration membrane upgrades. Device is charged by oxide elements. Operates automatically once constructed within user's exosuit inventory. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, <laughs> yes. Um, I don't know why I need to spend carbon all the time to interact with them. It's a little bit weird. Something Corvac, something something. <laughs> Request silicate. Request healing. I want to know a new word. The life form agrees to help. Yes. For time. Okay, so I know the word for time now. Will it give me anything else? Corvax Convergence. Traveller. Multitude of processes appear to be working within, within the electronic life form. There's one, however, a very simple and inelegant one that's devoted to conversing with creatures of low intelligence. I don't have low intelligence. Right now, a fraction of that process seems to be directed at me. <laughs> well, that's not very nice. There we go, he gave me my health back. Awesome. What else will it give me? Or will it just start getting pissed off at me? <laughs> Something, I've no idea what it's saying, Traveller. It leans towards me and suddenly bright lights what? And suddenly bright flashes burn in my retinas. The entity makes it clear that it's ready to converse with me. What the heck? I can keep requesting words? Oh my god. Will it give me another one? I'm scared. Okay, I want to see how many words and things I can get out of this Corvax. Traveller Corvax Convergence. I really want to even know what they're saying. It's casing light flashes. Despite its vast intelligence, it clearly hasn't been able to predict what I want from it. Healing, shield recharge. I don't know, fuel? What's fuel? What's it going to give me now for fuel? Ah. It gave me carbon. Okay. <laughs> okay, one more time. And then we'll head off. Will it give me another word? It might, it might be getting angry at me. 
Oh, give me another word. <laughs> oh, I like that action. <laughs> Virus. Okay. Okay, guys. I think we'll end the episode here. So, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye!